G'day, Alistair here, and in this video I'm going to talk about how to test the speed of your network. Now, quite a lot of people recommend using speedtest.net, and I'll run that. And what this really does is tests the speed of your internet connection, or how fast your device can talk to the internet, not really how fast your local network is running. So it's, it's, it's handy, it's useful, but it's not really very good for diagnosing network issues. And as you can see, um, I've got gigabit fiber here. So it's gigabit down, half gigabit up. Thereabouts, a little bit low on the download because I'm limited, my router is not quite fast enough, but that's all right. I'll um, upgrade that when I can get one uh, uh, second hand cheaply. So this is testing the speed, the connection from my computer to a server in my ISP and you can change change what server you're talking to in fact no this is not my ISP so that's now it'd be um, ACS that one would be my server, server anyway so that's testing your internet speed what I recommend for basic testing is to use open speed test now what you need to do first of all is if I go to my my server it is running a copy of open speed test which the most sort of the easiest way to get it is from the Microsoft Store so you can just download it and then we can see it's running on well actually I want port um, uh, IP 14 3000 rather than uh, 17 because that's only a that port is only gigabit and 14 is 10 gig so when that's running and assuming you've got all your fireballing rules sorted out, so you can talk, you know, you've, you've poked a hole. So you can talk to your server or whatever machines between two machines. And so I can run this. And this will test the speed. I'll run it. This will test the speed between my, this is my desktop computer and the server. And it's basically sending as much data as it possibly can. And we are topping out at 4.7 um, on gigabits on the download. And this comes out at about 1.8 uploading, which is not particularly exciting. Well, it is pretty good actually for, for a local network. So I've but considering I have two machines are plugged into SFP plus ports and yeah, so it's, it's effectively 10 gig, a 10 gig connection between the two of them. Those numbers aren't overly exciting, but it's, if, if you're doing sort of gigabit amounts, in fact, is there any settings? No, let's, let's just refresh that. I wonder if there's. Yeah, light and dark, and it doesn't look like there's too much in the way of settings we can fiddle with. So what we need is a more sophisticated method of testing the network speed, and that is with iPerf. So I have, well, we can down, download iPerf, and I have a browser here. So we just download it from the official website. And we can download a Windows binary for that, download and extract it, and it's going to load a command prompt on that folder. And we're going to run iperf s as the server. And if we come to um, my local machine, uh, I have downloaded it and what we can do we can run it as a client talking to the server on port so on um uh, i've got two well actually three network connections in the server but this is the 10 whoops iperf3 that's a 10 gig port and we see it's doing two gigabytes per second that's not very exciting. Again, well below what my network card is capable of. Now we can do a whole bunch of bunch of channels in parallel. So I'm going to dash capital P for parallel, 
and I'll do five connections. And we're still needing that two gigabit a second. So that's effectively the upload speed, I think. So what we were getting with our, I've refreshed the page, what we were getting in here with the you know, upload not being uh, particularly exciting. Now what I can do, I could run the server on this machine and run, you know, run the IPF server on this machine and from my other machine connect to it. But uh, if we look at the options, I think it's dash R, client options, dash capital R for reverse. So the server is sending, so effectively I'm downloading. And now we see we're aggregating at about nine gigabit. So much faster. So while for a single connection, I can possibly only get about two gigabytes a second, I am able to get about nine gigabits if I have, if like I'm copying multiple files or something like that, or you know, files simultaneously. I can max that out. But I'm still not sure about the why the upload is so slow. Why only get two gig the other way around? It's probably related to the network card I've got. It's an old Intel 10 gigabit card, which I've got off AliExpress secondhand effectively for about um, $30 or something. $30 New Zealand. It's about $20 US. So um, that all works. Now, I can also test the performance of my phone. So if I bring, that is what is running on my phone currently. I can run that and we see that I'm getting about 300 or so. Uh, it's about 360, but um, because of the, the screen mirroring going on, it's uh, <laughs> a little bit slower. And it'll be likewise for the upload. So that can go up to about 800 megabytes a second. Uh, if if it's uh, not doing any extra extra stuff, and for iperf, take that one away and grab this one. This is our Ping Tools Pro. I think I think it is with standard Ping Tools as well. Uh, I've paid some nominal amount to register the full version, but in here there is a iperf, and let's take a look at the settings. I'll make sure it's. Um, that's probably okay. And again, Storm twenty four. No, dot one four. Haven't actually tested this, but there we go. So yeah, getting about uh. To 60, something like that, and we could run it in reverse. And there's not an option to run parallel streams, but that's all right. And about the same in reverse, roughly speaking. So, in summary, if you want to test your internet speed, then speedtest.net not net is appropriate for that. And you want to select a um, a server; it'll pick one for you. But you might want to fine tune that um, to get something sort of as close as possible if your ISP is running a one of their own, for instance. Sort of the next level for testing the, the actual network would be Open Speed Test, which works great. It, it's browser based, so you can run it from any machine. You don't have to install any software on the, the, the local computer. You only need to install the server on whatever machine on the network you want to test or test from. And the last option is running an IPERF, which look at that one, uh, which gives you lots of options. And yeah, you might want to you know test with running lots of streams in parallel, and also doing it in reverse to verify that uh, your upload and download speeds uh, as what you expect. So that's all. I have for this video. I hope you've found it useful. I will see you in a future video, hopefully, and remember to like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching.